Alvin Orlando Lombard patented the Lombard steam log hauler in 1901. It was a groundbreaking contraption that replaced horse-drawn sleds and altered winter logging in North America forever. The Lombard log hauler was a real engineering wonder from the early 1900s. It was basically a huge steam-powered train on skis and tracks that mostly ran in the icy forests of Maine and eastern Canada. Duvant 6NN engine, made by the French company Duvant, is part of a family of heavy-duty, low-RPM diesel engines that are built to run reliably all the time. Today, Duvant engines like the 6NN are rare and valuable to collectors because they are easy to work on and because it is so impressive to witness such a big engine start and run. The Holt engine from 1917 was a huge, low-speed, four-cylinder gasoline engine that was the reliable powerhouse needed to drive the huge Holt crawler tractors that were utilized a lot during World War I to move heavy ordnance. This engine powered the tractors that led to the first armored tanks, making it a mechanical precursor of current tracked vehicles. Fairbanks Morse was a foundational American manufacturer known for building heavy-duty, dependable engines that prioritized longevity over high-speed performance. Their 300 horsepower models were a cornerstone of medium power applications. Fairbanks Morse engines made a unique sound that was a loud, resonant thump that came from the slow, strong cycles of their massive internal parts.
Orsi Antio tractor is a member of the family of large, straightforward, and potent hot bulb tractors that were popular in Europe between the 1930s and the 1950s. It is manufactured by the Italian business Orsi, which was founded by the Orsi brothers. The Orsi Antio was the only crawler tractor built by Orsi. Between 1953 and 1957, 113 of these vehicles were manufactured using the Argos engine. The Bayer engine, made in Sweden by G.A. Bayer, is the best example of a hot bulb engine. People loved these engines because they were simple, very reliable, and could run on inexpensive, low-quality fuels. These were all important attributes in Scandinavian rural and industrial environments in the early 20th century. The Zvezda M50 is a Soviet-era high-performance V12 diesel engine primarily designed for extremely fast military patrol and torpedo boats, demanding maximum power in a lightweight package. It's renowned for its 62.4 liters of displacement and use of mechanical supercharging. The Buckeye 110 horsepower oil engine is a well-known line of horizontal, stationary engines made by the Buckeye Machine Company in Ohio, mostly in the early to mid-1900s. The Buckeye oil engine was a strong, American-made source of power that was noted for being reliable and efficient in making electricity or running machines in factories, sawmills, and cities. They were a big improvement over the smaller gas and steam engines of the day. The 1948 Indian Chief is the epitome of classic American driving, known for its majestic size and signature deep, flowing, balanced fenders. Indian's flagship motorcycle after the war was known as the Cadillac of motorcycles because of its smooth, high-torque V-twin engine and comfortable plunger-style rear suspension.
F2M350 Deutz, the diesel workhorse. The tractor was built to last and be easy to fix with a vertical, water-cooled two-cylinder engine that farmers could easily take care of on their own. The Southern Machine Building Plant in Dnipro, Ukrainian SSR, made the Yud tractor in 1982. It is a strong, useful tractor. It was the main part of medium-sized collective farms and was known for being simple and dependable. The Yums series was a reliable and affordable way to mechanize Soviet agriculture, and it was known for how long it lasted. An important pre-World War II Italian tractor, the Landini Velite, Italian for skirmisher, or light cavalry, was first presented in 1934. It was hailed as a robust, multi-purpose agricultural device designed to automate medium-sized Italian farms. The most well-known feature of the Landini Velite is its two-stroke, single-cylinder hot-bulb semi-diesel engine, which is the same tough technology as the German Land's Bulldog. The Leopard 2 main combat tank has a powerful German engine called the MTU MB873 KA501. It's an engineering wonder that is noted for its quick acceleration, huge power, and capacity to work in very hot or very cold weather. It is the main reason why the Leopard 2, which weighs more than 60 tons, can move and speed up quickly in battle. The YMZ-204 engine is a Soviet-era diesel engine with four cylinders and two strokes. It was very important for powering the first MAMZ-200 series trucks after World War II. It is well known for being one of the first Soviet diesel truck engines to be made in large numbers. It is known for being simple and strong. 